Hello, today we'll be taking a look at file monitoring, which was introduced in version 8.4. All those artifacts which have been configured with either file adapters, FTP or SFTP adapters will automatically be pulled and listed over here. We have three new tabs over here for the file, FTP and SFTP adapters. So all these um, applications and ports have been configured with various file locations that we wish to monitor. So initially all of them will be not configured and as you can see I have configured a couple of them of either to check uh, for the number of file count which is displayed over here and we also see, can see the uh, directory size over here. So what we're going to do is right now we're just going to configure for a send port quickly. So as you can see, you automatically the folder location and the file mask has been picked up. Authentication is optional. By default, the monitoring service account will be used. However, if you want to give credentials, for example, if the user does not have access to that particular folder. Also, when you're performing a network sharing or for Azure configurations, you would need to provide authentication. So currently, we are just going to do a quick uh, check for uh, warn me if file count equals four. And uh, as with other monitoring uh, blades that we have in BizTalk 360, you can add multiple conditions. You can do a warn, you can throw an error, and also you can add multiple sub conditions with the various operators we have and or. So if I save this, so currently it shows me that it's green, it's healthy because currently nothing is there. We're just going to perform a quick test by using a simple debatching application. So if we put that in, it's picked up and hopefully it should come to the send port. And there we have it. Now the count is four and immediately you've got a warning. So this is quite helpful for file monitoring. If anything does go wrong while configuring, like for example, maybe you gave uh, wrong authentication credentials or maybe the receive location has moved or has been renamed, you will get a small triangle indicating that there is some problem and then you will be able to remove that configuration. So let's move on to FTP now. The file transfer protocol is a standard network protocol, which is used for transfer of computer files. Uh, so let's have a look at that. So uh, I have already one port uh, which has been configured with the FTP, but currently it's not configured. So let's just go ahead and configure it. Automatically, it has picked up these values from the admin console. You can provide the user and password over here if you wish. Uh, if it is anonymous, uh, you don't need to provide anything. There's also the connection timeout, which is given over here. User can configure that the maximum of 300 seconds and also SSL option, which is provided, which is optional. So uh, over here, as you can see, the FTP PS connections we have are explicit or implicit. And uh, you can also provide the client uh, certificate hash at this point. So we're not going to use SSL. We're just going to monitor the location. Then we have the firewall settings and the gateway proxy. If you wish to use the gateway proxy, this will automatically pick up the values from the settings page. Uh, else if you wish to provide your own values, we also have the mode of active or passive. And over here, we are going to provide our threshold condition. We can warn, uh, we have only one parameter to check in file monitoring and that is file count. Again, we can do a warn me or throw an error if the file count increases. So I'm just going to say if it is equal to one, currently it is zero. So it says healthy now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly uh, go to my FTP location. So that's the location that I'm monitoring and I'm going to place a file there. And so uh, there we can see it's gone to the warning status. So that was quite simple for us to set up. Now uh, let's move on to the last uh, part of file monitoring that is SFTP, the SSH file transfer protocol. And uh, there's certain scenarios that we can achieve either SFTP with pass authentication or with public key authentication. We're just going to do a quick setup for password authentication. We are using the test website test.rubex.net. It's very easy to set up. All we have to do is uh, provide some certain credentials if required. So over here it has picked up that the server name port and the folder that we wish to monitor as well as the mask that we are monitoring. The timeout over here is again configurable and the same proxy details that we have in FTP as well. You can either use the great way proxy. We're just going to move on and uh, just provide the password over here. 
we give the password and if you have the ssh uh, host uh, key fingerprint you can provide that but currently we're just going to have the slider to accept any ssh server host key which would mean we don't need to provide that and i'm just going to set up a basic condition warn me if the file count equals 40 and i'm going to save the configuration immediately it sets it up and we can see that it's healthy so that's all for file monitoring i hope this was a useful video please visit our website for more such videos thank you